A schism pronounced S -I -Z -M, S -K -I -Z -M or, less commonly, schism is a division between people, usually belonging to an organization, movement, or religious denomination. The word is most frequently applied to a split in what had previously been a single religious body, such as the East-West Schism or the Great Western Schism. It is also used of a split within a non-religious organization or movement or, more broadly, of a separation between two or more people, be it brothers, friends, lovers, etc. A schismatic is a person who creates or incites schism in an organization or who is a member of a splinter group. Schismatic as an adjective means pertaining to a schism or schisms, or to those ideas, policies, etc. that are thought to lead towards or promote schism. In religion, the charge of schism is distinguished from that of heresy, since the offense of schism concerns not differences of belief or doctrine but promotion of, or the state of, division. However, schisms frequently involve mutual accusations of heresy. In Roman Catholic teaching, every heresy is a schism, while there may be some schisms free of the added guilt of heresy. Liberal Protestantism, however, has often preferred heresy over schism. Presbyterian scholar James I. McCord quoted with approval by the Episcopalian Bishop of Virginia Peter Lee drew a distinction between them, teaching, if you must make a choice between heresy and schism, always choose heresy. As a schismatic, you have torn and divided the body of Christ. Choose heresy every time. Buddhism. <inaudible> <inaudible> In Buddhism, the first schism was set up by Devadatta, during Buddha's life. This schism lasted only a short time. Later, after Buddha's death, the early Buddhist schools came into being, but were not schismatic, only focusing on different interpretations for the same monastic community. In the old texts, 18 or 20 early schools are mentioned. Later, there were the Mahayana and Vajrayana movements, which can be regarded as being schismatic in origin. Each school has various subgroups, which often are schismatic in origin. For example, in Thai Theravadan Buddhism there are two groups Mahanikaya and Dhammayu, of which the Dhammayu has its origin partly in the Mahanikaya, and is the new and schismatic group. Both Mahanikaya and Dhammayu have many subgroups, which usually do not have schismatic origins, but came into being in a natural way, through the popularity of a leader monk. Tibetan Buddhism has seen schisms in the past, of which most were healed, although the Drukpa school centered in Bhutan perhaps remains in a state of schism since 1616 from the other Tibetan schools. Christianity The words schism and schismatic have found their heaviest usage in the history of Christianity, to denote splits within a church, denomination or religious body. In this context, schismatic as a noun, denotes a person who creates or incites schism in a church or a person who is a member of a splinter church, as an adjective, schismatic refers to ideas and activities that are thought to lead to or constitute schism, and ultimately departure from what the user of the word considers to be the true Christian church. These words have been used to denote both the phenomenon of Christian group splintering in general, and certain significant historical splits in particular. A distinction is made between heresy and schism. Heresy is rejection of a doctrine that a church considered to be essential. Schism is a rejection of communion with the authorities of a church, and not every break of communion is necessarily about doctrine, as is clear from examples such as the Western Schism and the breaking of communion between Patriarch Bartholomew I of Constantinople and Archbishop Christodoulos of Athens in 2004. But, when for any reason people withdraw from communion, two distinct ecclesiastical entities may result, each of which then, or at least some of its members, may accuse the other of heresy. In Roman Catholic Church canon law, an act of schism, like an act of apostasy or heresy, automatically brings the penalty of excommunication on the individual who commits it. 
As stated in Canon 1312 Section 1 1 degree of the Code of Canon Law, this penalty is intended to be medicinal, so as to lead to restoration of unity. Roman Catholic theology considers formal schismatics to be outside the Church, understanding by formal schismatics persons who, knowing the true nature of the Church, have personally and deliberately committed the sin of schism. The situation, for instance, of those who have been brought up from childhood within a group not in full communion with Rome, but who have Orthodox faith, is different. These are considered to be imperfectly, though not fully, members of the Church. This nuanced view applies especially to the churches of Eastern Christianity, more particularly still to the Eastern Orthodox Church. The First Council of Nicaea AD 325 distinguished between schism and heresy. It declared Arian and non-Trinitarian teachings to be heretical and excluded their adherents from the Church. It also addressed the schism between Peter of Alexandria and Meletius of Lycopolis, considering their quarrel to be a matter of discipline, not of faith. The divisions that came to a head at the councils of Ephesus AD 431 and Chalcedon AD 451 were seen as matters of heresy, not merely of schism. Thus, the Eastern Orthodox Church and Oriental Orthodoxy consider each other to be heretical, not Orthodox, because of the Oriental Orthodox Church's rejection and the Eastern Orthodox Church's acceptance of the Confession of Chalcedon about the two natures, human and divine, of Christ. However, this view has been challenged in the recent ecumenical discussion between these two groups, bringing the matter of Chalcedon as a matter of schism, not of heresy. In its extended and final form, possibly derived from the First Council of Constantinople in 381 although only known from the Acts of the Council of Chalcedon seventy years later, what is commonly called the Nicene Creed declares belief in the One Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Some who accept this creed believe they should be united in a single church or group of churches in communion with each other. Others who accept this creed believe it does not speak of a visible organization but of all those baptized who hold the Christian faith, referred to as Christendom. Some churches consider themselves to be the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. For instance, the Roman Catholic Church claims that title and considers the Eastern Orthodox Church to be in schism, while the Eastern Orthodox Church also claims that title and holds the view that the Catholic Church is schismatic. Some Protestant churches believe that they also represent the One Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church and consider the Catholic and Orthodox churches to be in error, while others do not expect a union of all Christian churches on earth. See also One True Church and Great Apostasy. Schisms are particularly prevalent among Anabaptists, to the extent that divisions over even minute details of doctrine and theology are common and the issue has been called by scholars Torferkrankheit or the Anabaptist disease, emphasizing fully voluntary membership in the Church, and without an established authority of hierarchical structure, Anabaptists, especially Mennonites have had dozens of schisms establishing dozens of various unaffiliated Mennonite churches. A current dispute with an acknowledged risk of schism for the Anglican Communion is that over homosexuality. In 2018, Eastern Orthodoxy has recently Russian Orthodox Church has severe cut ties from Main Church Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople over latter plans of granting autocephalies to Orthodox Church in Ukraine. Islam After the death of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, there have arisen many Muslim sects by means of schools of thought, traditions and related faiths. According to a hadith report collections of accounts of the life and teachings of Muhammad, Muhammad is said to have prophesied, "...my ummah community or nation will be fragmented into 73 sects, and all of them will be in the hell fire except one." The Sahaba his companions asked him which group that would be, whereupon he replied, "'It is the one to which I and my companions belong,' reported in Sunan al-Tirmidhi hadith number 171. 
Sunni Muslims, often referred to as Ahl as Sunnah wal Jama'a or Ahl as Sunnah, are the largest denomination of Islam. The word Sunni comes from the word Sunnah, which means the teachings and actions are examples of the Islamic prophet, Muhammad. Therefore, the term Sunni refers to those who follow or maintain the Sunnah of Muhammad. The Sunni believe that Muhammad died without appointing a successor to lead the Muslim Ummah community. After an initial period of confusion, a group of his most prominent companions gathered and elected Abu Bakr, Muhammad's close friend and father-in-law, as the first caliph. Sunnis regard the first four caliphs, Abu Bakr, Umar, backquote, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Uthman ibn Affan, and Ali, Ali ibn Abu Talib as the al khulafa ur rashidun or Rashidun, the rightly guided caliphs. Sunnis believe that the position of caliph may be democratically chosen, but after the first four rightly guided caliphs the position turned into a hereditary dynastic rule. There has not been another widely recognized caliph since the fall of the Ottoman Empire in 1923. Shia Islam is the second largest denomination of Islam. Shia Muslims believe that, similar to the appointment of prophets, imams after Muhammad are also chosen by God. According to Shias, Ali was chosen by Allah and thus appointed by Muhammad to be the direct successor and leader of the Muslim community. They regard him as the first Shia imam, which continued as a hereditary position through Fatima and Ali's descendants. Sufism is a mystical ascetic form of Islam practiced by both Shia and Sunni Muslims. Some Sufi followers consider themselves Sunni or Shia, while others consider themselves as just Sufi or Sufi-influenced. Sufism is usually considered to be complementary to Orthodox Islam, although Sufism has often been accused by the Salafi of being an unjustified bid'ah or religious innovation. By focusing on the more spiritual aspects of religion, Sufis strive to obtain direct experience of God by making use of intuitive and emotional faculties that one must be trained to use. One starts with Sharia, Islamic law, the exoteric or mundane practice of Islam, and then is initiated into the mystical, esoteric path of a tariqa, Sufi order. Karajite lit. Those who seceded is a general term embracing a variety of Islamic sects which, while originally supporting the Caliphate of Ali, eventually rejected his legitimacy after he negotiated with Muawiyah during the 7th century Islamic civil war first fitna. Their complaint was that the Imam must be spiritually pure, whereas Ali's compromise with Muawiyah was a compromise of his spiritual purity and therefore of his legitimacy as Imam or Caliph. While there are few remaining Karajite or Karajite related groups, the term is sometimes used to denote Muslims who refuse to compromise with those with whom they disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Jainism The first schism in Jainism happened around the 4th century BCE, leading to rise of two major sects, Digambara and Svetambara, which were later subdivided in further sub-sects. <inaudible> Judaism Throughout Jewish history, Judaism survived many schisms, including the emergence of Christianity. Today, major Jewish denominations are Orthodox Judaism and non-Orthodox, Reform, Conservative and Reconstructionist. Examples Jewish Samaritanism, 586 BCE Reform Judaism, 1810 Conservative Judaism, 1886 Islamic The Schism of the Shia and Sunni, c. 632–680th s The Schism of the Karajites, late 7th century 
The Schism of the Mutazilites, 8th century The Schism of the Mina, c. 833 The Schism of Zikri, c. 1500 The Schism of Ahmadiyya, 19th century The Moorish Science Temple of America, c. 1913 The Nation of Islam, c. 1930 The United Submitters International, c. Mid 20th century. Topic: <inaudible> Christian. Paul the Apostle refers to factions or schisms, Greek schismata, schismata, within the church at Corinth. The schism of Marcionism, c. 150. The schism of Gnosticism, which some attribute to Valentinius, c. 150, others much earlier The Schism of Montanism The Schism of Monarchianism, c. 200 The many antipopes, beginning with Hippolytus of Rome in 217, although Hippolytus later reconciled. The Donatist Schism, beginning in 311 The Schism with Arianism and Quartodecimanism at the First Council of Nicaea, 325 the Nestorian Schism, after the Council of Ephesus in 431, between the State Church of the Roman Empire and Nestorianism The Oriental Orthodox Schism and rejection of the Council of Chalcedon, c. 451 The Acacian Schism, 484–519 The Schism of the Armenian Orthodox, between Patriarchate of Constantinople and Armenian native speaking Eastern Christians, which formed the Armenian Apostolic Church, 491 to 554. The Great Schism of 1054 that led the split to Latin Rite Roman Catholicism and Byzantine Rite Eastern Orthodoxy. Bosnian Church CCA. 1100 to CCA. 1500. Lollardi in the 1350s. Three papal claimants at the same time, Roman Pope Gregory XII, Avignon Pope Benedict XIII, Pisan Pope John XXIII, resolved at Council of Constance, see also Western Schism, 1378–1417 The Swiss Reformation beginning in 1516 The Reformation beginning in 1517 Anabaptist, c. 1525 the English Reformation beginning in 1529 Michael Savitas burned at the stake in 1553, considered founder of Unitarianism The Scottish Reformation in 1560 The Dutch Reformation in 1571 Socinianism in 1605 The Jansenism Schism of 1643 See Old Believers and Raskol for schism within the Russian Orthodox Church in 1666 over ritual and liturgical changes The Old School New School controversy in the Presbyterian Church in the United States of America in 1837 Disruption of 1843 Restorationism beginning in the 1850s in the United States Christian Catholic Church of Switzerland rejects First Vatican Council doctrine of papal infallibility, see also Old Catholic Church, 1868 The Crotty Schism in Burr, County Offaly, Ireland The Schism between the Anglican Communion and the Continuing Anglican Movement in 1977 the separation of the Anglican Church in North America from the Episcopal Church and the Anglican Church of Canada the Schism from the Roman Catholic Church of the Leaders of the Society of St. Pius X in 1988, when Archbishop Marcel Lefebvre ordained four bishops despite a prohibition by the Holy See Most Holy Church of God in Christ Jesus splits from Iglesia ni Cristo in 1922 when Teofilo Aura and his friends disagreed with Felix Manalo's decision to not anoint them ministers despite their group almost to all ministers Members Church of God International splits off from Iglesia ng Dios que Cristo Jesus in 1977 left after Alicio Soriano and others contested Levita Guglan's leadership 
Members Church of God in Jesus Christ Worldwide splits off from Alicio Soriano's MCGI when Willy Santiago left along with other members. The Moscow-Constantinople Schism has Russian Orthodox Church severe cut ties with main church within Eastern Orthodoxy over granting autocephalies with two Ukrainian Orthodox Churches instead keep recognized Ukrainian Orthodox Church under Moscow Patriarchate's control as the canonical Church of Ukraine in 2018. See also One True Church Secession Old and New Light Notes <laughs> <laughs>